Let's dive into Notre Dame. Come on. Let's talk about Brian Kelly's fighting Irish last year, 10-2. and two. Not bad. Went 11-2 and two the year before that. Made a playoff last year. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Returning production is not good. Nope. Number 123. They are returning 53% this year. Their win total sits at 9, and the over is juiced at plus 115. So if you okay. think they are going to win double digits again, you are going to be uh, rewarded handsomely for that. Okay. Rewarded handsomely. Um, FPI has got them going 8-4. and four. SP Plus has got them going 7-5. and five. Okay. When I saw this 9, I thought that cannot be correct. No, that's right. I think that's right. I, I cannot be. That can't be right. I can't. I don't see it. I don't see what's going on here. Uh, nearly everybody that Notre Dame plays returns their quarterback in a ton of production, and Notre Dame does not. They bring in quarterback Jack Cohn, Wisconsin transfer. They lost four all ACC offensive linemen this year. That is tough sledding. The defense loses quite a bit as well, along with their defensive coordinator, Clark Lee. Uh, they do bring in Cincinnati defensive coordinator, Marcus Freeman. That is certainly a good thing in their direction. Uh, the schedule is filthy. Uh, listen to this nine or this five-game romp here. Cincinnati, or sorry, uh, against Wisconsin in Soldier Field, then Cincinnati at home at Virginia Tech. They've got a bye, then they got USC, and then they play North Carolina. That does not include... A game at Stanford late, a game at Virginia. They've got at Florida State to start with, and Toledo, the team that's got the number one most returning production in the country, uh, in their first two games. Oh, and then there's also Purdue, which we've seen what they can do. David Bell, wide receiver, all that. Jeff Brom is always good for something crazy. Uh, this is tough, man. Like, I don't... I, I, I trust Brian Kelly. I'm going to go under the nine, though, this year. I think I think this is the down year, and then they're back to normal next year. Okay. So, the schedule is hard. Always is. Every year it's hard. Yeah. They lost a lot of offensive linemen. Okay. They've done. They have become the new Wisconsin, where if you don't know who to take in the draft, just take the next best offensive lineman available from Notre Dame. Yeah. And they'll probably be the best offensive lineman on your team. Yeah. Now they like, did. They did uh, bring. Uh, uh, I didn't write the kid's name down. Kane. Yep. Maddox, they're, Kane Matthews they're uh, from Marshall. The best the best offensive the, lineman from Marshall. They're just going to – that that line does not scare me at all. Losing four of them, it's worrisome. They're not going to go from the best offensive line in football to the, you know, terrible. No, no, but I, no of course not. They're going to fall. They're not falling that far. I, I, I trust this offense. I trust Brian Kelly. I think he knows what he's doing. They're not Alabama. They're not Clemson. They're not Ohio State. They are that next tier, though. Yeah. They 100% are. They don't rebuild. They reload. And they just continue. They have a ceiling. I don't think they're winning national champions. But that's not the earmark here. Yeah. You're going over? I, I do want to go over. And here's the reason why. I think they can get to nine. I do think they can get to nine. That has them winning none of the coin flip games because I don't think any of the teams they play are significantly better than them. So, yes, Virginia Tech brings back their quarterback and a lot more guys. Virginia Tech has also been really erratic and really bad at a lot of spots. I love Justin Fuente. You know that. I wanted him to be amazing and bring them back to glory. He has not been. Give me Brian Kelly over my boy Fuente all day. Yeah. All day. Like, yeah. these are coin flip games. North Carolina, you tell me, has a chance to beat Clemson this year. You think they're that good. I don't know that I believe that yet. I don't know that I'm just chalking up this W when they go into South Bend. Agreed. And okay. so this is where I just need them to win one or two of these coin flip games. And, and you got your 10 and 10? And you got your 10. Okay. okay. Because I do think they're definitively better than a lot of these other teams. I can, I can understand that. I can understand it. I think that this is the down year. Uh, you think that they just roll right along? I think they're going to continue to roll. Now, I mean, there's a big difference between going ten and two and eleven and zero, which is what yeah. they were last year. Yeah, before they play Clemson in this the championship true. game. This is true. Uh, no conference for them this year, though. And boy, that schedule is uh, a lot harder. That is something fierce. Yep, leaving that the ACC actually hurts them. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, 
at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.